Well, hey guys, um, I'm going to cut and buff this today. Um, it's taken a couple days to harden up where I feel comfortable about buffing. It still feels really soft, but uh, I'm going to start out with just block sanding this at uh, probably 1,000 grit sandpaper, and, uh, and then we'll slowly move up from there. So... different buffing pads here I'm going to use and some rubbing compounds. Um, you can just watch. I'm going to go through each stage and each stage of these buffing pads um, if you kind of want to look. Um, I'm going to use this 3M product here for my first initial super rubbing compound and then the one here which is the it's it's a lighter rubbing compound and then this machine and uh, it all these work good as long as you use the same pads or the uh, go through the pads the same way I'm like these pads they're rated as um, red is really heavy orange is medium and blue is light and green is soft polish and black is final finish polish so just to kind of show you what we're doing and uh, so I'm going to start with a few of these I'm going to have my daughter come out and help me hold this. And then I'm using my DeWalt uh, buffer. So we'll go ahead and get this going. And uh, should be good. Guys, well, I got this all buttoned up. Uh, turned out really good. 
very impressed. It's still got some waves in there, but it's, yeah, I think it's adequate. It's what he kind of wanted, but it turned out awesome. Um, I'll get some pictures of it. I'll post pictures up at the end of the video of it on the bike, finally assembled. But uh, you guys hit subscribe, check out more of my videos, um, leave some comments, let me know if this is even something you like seeing or if you like seeing the square body or, or whatever. This thing turned out awesome. The shine is pretty dang good.